What? What? Mutton? Oh my god, look at the size of that yellow eye! Oh my god! Holy crap! God, look at the size of that selfie snapper! Oh my goodness! Boys, today we're doing back to back. I don't know what we're gonna do yet. You're fogged up. I am fogged up. God, you guys freaking me in the fog now. I don't know what we're gonna do. But our guys are showing up and we're gonna uh, fish today. Okay, so we're about 40-ish miles out and we've seen a float log, so we're gonna go check it out and see if there's any mahi or um, maybe a, a wahoo or triple tail underneath it. We're gonna putt up to it here. See anything? Triple tails? Some file fish? That's cool, it's a big giant piece of bamboo. I wonder where that came from. Oh, rainbow runners, hey, check them out. Oh, come here, come here guys. Oh no, those are peanuts. Oh, we're about to make a mess. We're about to make a mess, folks. Little peanuts. All right, we, well, we got time, so let's get situated. These guys aren't gonna go anywhere. Um, you go ahead and bring that jig up. We're, we're not gonna use that jig. We're not gonna use that jig because we're just gonna throw them off, but this is a great opportunity, guys. Great opportunity for a good start. Come here, Miha. Where my little peanuts go? They come back up. Is it? There they are. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Look at them all. Look at all the Mihas. Okay. I guess we gotta use a lab bait. Come on, dude. Mahis don't wanna eat. What? I don't think they're gonna turn that down. Though. They were coming after my jig. They were at least checking it out. Give them one last chance. They don't want it. Yep, I'm over it. We're gonna we're gonna move along. We're gonna go five fish that want to bite. Keep turning it steady. You gotta turn the handle. Keep on turning. Keep turning the handle. You cannot stop turning the handle. Turning. Just rest it on the rail. Doing good. Here he comes. Big nasty Almaco. Big old Alamac. Big one. Alright, stop reeling. Big one. Beefer. Nice work. Big Almaco. Nice fish. Very good. Wow, it's a really good one. Beef. Three oh, pounder. Big. Twice the size of the other one. Yeah. Huh? Two by four. Nice. What you got? Pink porgy. Nice. It's real. Lift. Keep on. Don't stop. You're not close. You're not close. Still in the danger zone. Got a girl. Now the red devil. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Hey, it's grouper, it's grouper. Is it a belly? Be yeah. a belly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big gag. Yeah, son. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he was close, son. He almost got you. He almost got you. He got scratched up. He almost made it home, but you didn't, buddy. You home now. You home forever. You home forever, buddy. Oh, gag grouper. Gag grouper. Yeah. On the light tackle. Hell yeah. Light leader, not like tackle, but yeah. Gag Grupa! Yeah. Yeah. He almost made it home. But he didn't. No, you didn't, sir. Oh, you got to tie you one every time? Oh, yeah. Right up. Oh, he yeah. got you. He almost got you, son. Yeah. Grouper for dinner. Alrighty, it's about midday. We've had issues with the tide. There's really been no conditions. You know, no wind, no tide. It is really, really hot. Um, we've had trouble anchoring just because there's nothing to anchor on, you know? There's no wind, there's no tide. It's, it's literally, you could throw it out a hundred times and lay a hundred different angles. But finally, we got a little bit of uh, current pushing us, so. We anchored up and we're cranking up. 
see what we got, I guess. Why'd you lose it? Lose a hook? Well, man. What do you have? Give me some beaver triggers. Is that a button? Oh. What? 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 Mutton? Oh my god, look at the size of that yellow eye! Oh my god! Holy crap! What is it? Oh my god, look at the size of that silky snapper! No. Oh my goodness! Whoa! There's the video right there! Holy crap, son! You are. That's nuts! Holy crap! Look at the size of that yellow eye! Oh my god! Wow! That's really cool! That's awesome! These are really rare! See their eyes? Uh huh. These are really rare. This might be surprising to you because how often I joke around and say it, I didn't know they got that big. This is the first time I've actually meant that. I actually didn't know they got that big. <laughs> oh, it's a big yellow eye. Having fun yet? Very. <laughs> oh, shit. He's fighting hard. He's fighting hard. What you got? Something flopping. He's still on there. Yeah, he's on there. Oh. You got a red snapper? Yeah, hey, so do you. Yay. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah. That's one thing about this deep stuff. You get all kinds of cool exotics like yellow eyes and snowies. But out in Jacksonville, you get red snapper full speed too. It sucks. <laughs> Especially because it's so deep. Yeah. Yay. Nice and easy on the lifts. You got him, bud. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's a yellow eye. What's another yellow eye? Oh my god! What the heck? This is awesome! Wow! Oh, wait, Golly, oh. thank God it was a red snapper. Oh, well, no. <sighs> the shark got him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Baby scamp. He's probably going back, but. Huh. Mm -hmm. Cutie. He's going to pop him. He's going to go home. He's going to make a bunch of babies. Cutie. Nice. Go, buddy, go. Nice. Yeah, so he, so he sinks. Those grouper don't do well. Not getting that in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Move this gaff. Who wants it? Come on. He's looking right. Big Jackson. Here. Oh my God. Jeez Louise, look at the size of that Almaco. Holy moly. That's a good one. Yeah. The shark came up? Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice work. Get him! All right, you're good, you're good. Don't, just steady reel, just steady reel, steady reel. You don't stop reeling, it's not safe yet. Not safe yet. You're not safe yet. You're not safe yet. Who wants this one? She wants it. Give it to her. You got it. Had a girl. I'm just gonna say it so it don't happen. Keep, Keep on reeling. Keep reeling. Keep on reeling. Keep on reeling. Keep on reeling. Hold on. Stop. You stop reeling. You keep reeling. Oh my God! Wow! That's cool, I'll gap him. What the heck? Yellow eye gods over here. 10 pound yellow eye club only cause that's the title. You heard it here first. That is a Mondo. That's the biggest one so far. Woo. Well, if you know one thing about me is that I absolutely love exotics more than about anything except for freight trains, but 
It's like we're not really catching much beeliners here. I mean, we got we got these red snapper going, but it's like every time we talk about leaving, we catch another 12 pound yellow eye. That one's over 12 pounds. That one that one's pushing 15. Good God. If you send that one to graze, it's, you're gonna have to use the red snapper molds. Oh my goodness. That's nuts, man. This is super cool. This is the most uh, big one. Well, actually, I've never caught these on a charter before, but uh, I've actually never even caught this grade before. Not even a one. And I've caught three in the past hour. Mondo's. Mondo's. Mondo's only. I don't know. I don't know. Stand by for the next one. Stand by for the next one. Okay. He said it. He said next one's coming up. I'm going to hold you to that, okay? All righty, last pull for the day that we're heading in. It's been a very hot and it's been a day, I guess. Uh, I don't think I'll ever catch three yellow eyes in the same day uh, that big in my entire life. I'm confident about that. Yeah, it had to be the crew. It had to be the uh, Indianapolis folks. But uh, so it's, Indi it's Indianapolis. Yeah. The crew. We haven't seen one. The yet. Andy crew. They know how to pull, pull in the exotics. Yeah, the big gigantic exotics. Yeah, that was really cool. They were asking me the reaction on the camera. They're like, I'm, I was like. They pulled it up and they didn't know what it was. They didn't know what a yellow eye was. I mean, they don't really go offshore in Indianapolis very often. It's like, yeah, I thought at first you were just having a reaction for the camera, but then you you put the camera down and turned it off and then you kept on going on and on about it. After yeah. the camera's off, so it definitely wasn't yeah. just the show for the camera. No, it was not it was not a show for a camera. I don't do I don't do all that. That was very cool. I think I think a couple of those fish are gonna end up on a wall somewhere. Tyler's gonna get the one that he hooked mounted. I'm very confident about. Very cool. All right, I'll see you guys at the dock. 18 pounds. I'm, I'm hoping. 18 and a half is a world record. 18, I'm, I'm hoping 18 pounds, six ounces. We're going to measure him, or we're going to measure and weigh him. We're going to see what he weighs. Let's see that one. All right. Here we go. Oh. What was that? 14.2. Good God, wow. son. What's up, Carney? Hey, man. Look at the size of that yellow eye. Oh, man. Isn't that wild? Man. Four, we got three gigantic ones. No kidding. 18, and six. Yeah. Fourteen. Pretty wild. Yeah. You don't see them that often. No. no. Not you don't see them that often. Period. In the Bahamas. You know. Yeah. Golly. Yeah, those are pretty man. Yeah. Yeah. We were out there. We didn't have any luck at all. Really. Got a few bee liners, some trigs, a couple of muttons. It was. It's been slow, man. It's been. Yeah. They just weren't biting, man. They mark up good. Yeah. White bone for you. That fine fish and the other fish. I'm talking to some people. I feel a lot better about this day. Don't do it like that. That's what people that don't catch a lot of fish do. Stack them together. Get them nice and tight. Nice and tight. Come on. Got to do it right. Do it right. I would have traded the, uh, the insane trip for those any day. That's uh, really cool, obviously. It's pretty nice. So we're going to scale and gut them all. Send them on their way. Maybe I can finesse a throat. Okay, so we're in the kitchen. We got some beautiful yellow white throats. I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna broil them in the oven. That's something I haven't done yet. And I'm just gonna put olive oil, blackening, and some cayenne on them. See how it goes. Uh, I don't really know the temp on this oven. It just says low or high for the broil. But uh, I'll let you know how long it takes to cook them. Obviously, every, every oven is different. I've never broiled anything in this oven before. So whenever I'm done, I'll let you know, but boom. Magic ingredients. And I, uh, I kept the scales and the skin on for this, by the way. A little something to add. And just a little bit of cayenne. I don't want to burn my face off. And in the oven, she goes. Now we wait. Okay, it's been about like 18 to 20 minutes and I pulled them out. They look absolutely beautiful. Uh, they cooked really well all the way through and I'm very, very excited to try them. All right, gang, here we go. Good old silky snapper collars coming at you. That was a bone. Oh, that's just part of the bone in there. Oh, guys. Look at that there. Smells very good, obviously. Mm. 
I actually really like the way that cooked. I have a little bit of crispness on the top. As you know, I like char black and stuff, and uh, the broiling kind of a little bit, in a way, gives it that same kind of little bit crunchy. It's not as crunchy as a char blacking would be, but nonetheless, very good and added texture. Hmm. That's very good. Um, I'd say it's more comparable to red snapper than like a mutton or a mango. I guess it makes sense. They're pretty much red snapper with um, yellow eyes, but very, very good. Maybe one day I'll get to try a fillet of these things. Very, very good. But, alrighty gang, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. It's free and it helps me out a lot. And uh, if you wanna go fishing with me, look in the link in the description below. All the information is there. Guys, I love you so much. Thank you for watching. I'll see y'all next time.